Hey there, this is Carrie Stone with Freedom and Cash. And I got a couple of emails back after I said, hey, use Weebly, it's real simple. And it wasn't quite so simple for some people, so I am going to do a step-by-step -step on how to uh, create a Weebly account and how to start setting up your very first website. I want to make this as easy as possible, so here we go. You just go to Weebly.com. You can click on the links in my emails or just go, you know, Weebly.com, no big deal. Either click on the Get Started or the Sign Up button. And this email is going to be a little bit longer than uh, a normal one. Obviously, this is a video. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. So feel free to do it in small bites if that's what you have to do. So, um... To get signed up, <laughs> to get signed up, you need to start with a blank slate. So it wants your name, your email address, and then you have to make up a password. If you want to go real fast and simple, sign up with Facebook. I don't do that because I have several uh, business Facebook accounts that are linked together and it gets too confusing. So I just use um, my name, my email, and I make up a password. Simple. Sign up. And then it asks you some questions. It doesn't really matter how you answer a lot of these. If you want to make a store, that's what you want to do. It just makes the beginning a little easier. It sets you up with a Weebly theme that's most appropriate for what you're going to do. So you're basically, probably for your business, you're going to either be an online store or just a business. Um, when you're ready for a blog down the road, you can come back and start a blog here, or you can add a blog page to your business website. But for right now, I'm going to pick business. What is the name of your business? If you don't have a legal entity business name, you don't know what your business name is going to be right now, um, you can actually use your own name, or you can skip. And on this page, you have the themes. It automatically goes into here as part of the initial setup in Weebly. You don't have to pick a theme at this point. You can actually keep going. I am going to pick a theme. You can preview it. You can look at more. I'm just going to pick this one to say that we're going through it. So now we have a theme. And it says that you're in theme preview. Should have your business name up here, but I probably didn't type it all the way because I'm in a hurry. And it simply says start editing. So you click on the start editing button. It does a little work down here. And now you're in the Weebly editor. Now, if you've already got a domain name, you can um, put it in here, use a domain you already own. You can use a subdomain of Weebly, which is it's going to be whatever you want in here, .weebly.com, or you can register a brand new name if you're ready for that. I recommend while we're getting started to just put something in here for now you can always change it. This is the thing about Weebly. Don't be afraid to play with it because everything is so easy to change and you can't break it. Um, it gives you help right at the very beginning. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. So it gives you help screens at the very beginning because it knows you haven't been in here yet. So it has some placeholder text and some placeholder pictures. It has all of that in here. 
then I'm basically going to show you how to drag and drop. On the left hand side are all the elements of your page. Title, which this would be a title. Text. Um, if you're in full screen also, it's not going to go back and forth like that. I'm not on full screen. So all of these elements, sections and dividers, um, video, audio, video, um, you can put documents on a page, you can put a file on a page, you can do uh, color blocks and tables, you can pretty much do anything. And if you don't find what you want in here, there's another place to go and that's called apps. Uh, you probably want to play with that down the road. I want to get into the basics right now. So when you go in here, you can either edit this page. If you like the page the way that it's set up, you just double click on a space. This is a text box. It has placeholder text. If you like how it's set up and you just want to type in here, you're going to start typing and put some stuff in here. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter what I'm putting in here right now. You can see that when I'm in a text box and I'm typing, I've got this bar that tells me, uh, gives me text options, bold, italicized, underlined. I can increase and decrease the font size. Make it bigger, make it smaller. I can change the color of the font by clicking the little drop down arrow. I can click on colored boxes and it'll change the color. Or if I don't like that, I can go all the way to the bottom and I can click anywhere in this box and make a completely different color. Okay, so that's how you change that. This is if you want to create a link. If you want these words to link out to a different page, if you're an Amazon seller and you want it to link to an Amazon, you just click on it and it pulls up and it gives you options. This is where you put in a link URL. 99% of the time, if you're linking to outside of your website, you want it to open in a new window. So you have options. You can link to another website. You can link to another page within your own site. This theme in this sample has several pages already, so you could link to your about page, or you can be on your about page and link back to your home page. So that's how you would do that. So that's how you enter or edit text in a text box. To change anything that's just written, titles or texts, you basically just click on it and highlight it and overwrite it. You can't see it, but my cat is sitting over here, and every time I try to do something, she bumps my arm. <laughs> so. All right, and if you have a silly problem like this inside of Weebly, what you can do is just go up and reload the page. A lot of times that fixes Weebly glitches. And don't be surprised if it happens to you. Don't panic. See, here we go. And you know, it, it, it often starts because my cat's bumping my arm. <laughs> and then <laughs> she gives me dirty looks from across the room. So there's your brand new title text. There is your start typing stuff here. Every time you do a bunch of stuff, you want to save it. There's not a save button. There's a publish button. Um, it's very easy. You click it. It says here, continue. Verify your human. <sighs> oh, it's going to make me crazy. I am verified I'm human and publish. And I've honestly never seen it do that before. So now I have my website on the internet. I am going to open it in a new tab. 
and there it is. That is a live website, right? So that's really the nuts and bolts of how easy it is to edit anything on a website in Weebly. It, you're in the editor and you're in build. So let's go over to pages. You can see in pages, these are the different pages that are already on this website. These pages show up in the menu. So you can navigate to pages two different ways. You can click on the menu and click on the actual page. Or in the pages menu, you can click on the menu item on the page. It has several things on the left hand side within the page that you can tell it. You want to give it um, your page a name. So if you don't want to just use about, you can say about us, about me, about Jim Bob Bojangles, or you know, whatever you want it to say. If you're doing services, you can start listing out service pages, carpet cleaning, blind cleaning, tile cleaning, grout cleaning, anything like that. You can choose how you want the header to look up here, which I want to show you that back on the home page. I want to show you how it changes. Um, on your header, depending on the theme is dependent on which options you have. This currently is just header. If you click no header, it takes away that whole top heading part where I just wrote that big title page. So it takes that away. And then of course you can do a splash page. which changes up everything. Um, I don't recommend a splash page. If you're trying to generate leads for a service business or a restaurant or your flower shop, I do not recommend a splash page. A splash page is really good for um, getting someone to do one thing. Join your mailing list, um, get on your newsletter, anything like that. So then you can see I just changed it back. Um, you don't need to mess with visibility. It's public or you can give it a password or you can make it only visible to certain people. I just leave it public because that's where you want it to be. SEO settings would be for a later class. Um, I will get to that and I will I will include that in a training either in an email or another video. It's pretty straightforward. You want your page title um, or on the home page. So my page title, I would want to be my business name. That's what appears um, when it says in a browser's headline. That's what appears at the tabs at the top of a, a browser. It's the exact word you put in here. Um, the permalinks, you obviously you can't change it on the home page, but that again would go back to about, about us, about me, uh, Jim Bob's, Bojangles. Page description, you can put in a little something, don't go crazy. When you do a Google search, for anything, this is what you see. You see the name, you see the web address, and then you see right here, you see this description. So this description right here is what Weebly wants in this page description box. And it has a help for you, or not. It has a help, but it's basically telling you, don't go overboard, and if you want to, Look in here and see how long these are. It's not going to go beyond two lines. It's, it's just not. So you can look at it and see what other people are doing. And that's how you get ideas for what you do. You put it in here. I do not use meta keywords. I never have. My sites rank just fine without them. Um, I don't use footer code and header code unless I have a client that specifically needs it for something such as special tracking. Um, that would be 
more for a big client that has several service areas or that covers more than one state, city, or county. So that's your SEO settings. Um, and that's basically it. Any page that you're on that you do not want to show up in the site's menu, you just click on hide in navigation and it goes away. So the page is still there. You just can't see it on the menu. Um, I, I can think of several instances where you might use that, but again, that's um, sort of down the road. So we're going to leave it for now and see if we can. I'm just trying to move this in so you can see it a little better. All right. So those are the basics of building a page in Weebly. To add a page, you click the little, remember we're in pages. To add a page, you click the plus button. And here's where I said if you want to do a blog on your website, this is where you would click on blog page. You can click on standard page. And you give the page a name. Services. You pick your header type. Um, I change them throughout sites often. <laughs> so I might have the home page has a header um, and the other ones have no header or I change the image on the different headers. I only use splash pages when I'm making a very specific splash page. Again, visibility, not something we need to mess with. SEO settings goes for every page. So page title, this would be Freedoms Services. You can name it whatever you want, but here's what I'm going to remind you of. It shows up in the tab at the top of your web browser, whatever you type in here. Now, the page's URL or permalink, you can put service. If you don't want it to be service, you can put private service. You always have to put a dash in between words in a permalink. And then you would go on and do the description um, and just leave these alone for now. So. That's your new page. You've done that. It is automatically added to your menu. So now we have two services in our menu. So it's automatically added for you. Then you go back, click on build again, and you're back over here. So on this new page, I'm going to show you how to drag and drop. You always start with a title at the top of your page. Okay? Title at the top, and then you just click out and you can see it. Now, we have two title boxes on this page. I don't want two title boxes. So in order to get rid of the second one, as you can see, there's when you just hover inside the box, there's a little X. If you hover exactly on the X, it turns red. You delete it. Of course, it double checks. But, so you've got title at the top. Um, you can center that. You can, if you have messed with it a few times, if you've messed with the colors and the size and all sorts of things, and you, if you want to go back to where you were at the very beginning as far as the formatting of your text, you click on this, remove formatting. It also has an undo and a redo. This is what you should get every time you're in a title or text box. If you don't get it, it's a Weebly glitch, and you can go ahead and reload the page, and I promise you it'll show up. So once again, you need to frequently click on Publish when you're working on your page. You don't have to look at it every time, but clicking on it saves the page, saves what you're working on. So we have a title. Now let's put some text, okay? And I am just going to click on over here and find some placeholder text. Good heavens to Betsy. Find some placeholder text from a website that has actual text. Okay, well, 
These are really good examples of what not to do. You need a minimum of 1,000 words, 1,000 words on your home page in order for Google to like you more. So we're just going to copy and paste this because I don't feel like making up a bunch of stuff today. So this is just, I'm placeholding. I can go back and type in whatever I want later. But I wanted to show you, how, that's how you fill in your text box. And I saved it. And I'm going to add an image. So I put the image inside the text box and it moves the text. You can do it however you prefer. I have a million images. We're just going to use the closest one. Once you have the image in here, you can resize it right inside the editor. You don't necessarily have to resize it and then bring it in. Okay. Also on an image, let's put one down here. On an image. If you don't like, if you're having a hard time getting a size properly sized on the page, so let's say you've got this and you're like, wow, that's okay, but I'm, it's not working really, really good for me. This is something real good to remember if you're doing videos. Take a spacer, put a spacer off to the side of your image, and it's automatically going to make it bigger or smaller. You grab this little bar. So now you've got two columns because you have a spacer over here, but you can grab this little bar and size it this way and that way as well. Okay, that's about images. So you already know how to add pages, build pages with titles and text. Do not be afraid to play with all of this. The very worst thing you can have happen is you have to delete it and start over. Um, what I recommend for content is write it in a text doc or a word doc. Write out all of your content first. Spell check it, grammar check it, proofread it, have somebody else in the house proofread it. Um, because I tell you, here and here, are two different words, H-E-A-R and H-E-R-E. -E. And spell check doesn't always tell you if you've used a word improperly. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. So that is how to use Weebly. So I have this silly little site, which I won't be saving. I've done what I want to do for work on my site for the day. I made sure it was published, meaning saved. And then over here above my elements and apps is a little X. I'm just going to get out of the builder. And this takes me to my website's front page. And as you can see, you automatically get stats from Weebly, which is really cool. You can, you can do blogs and get blog comments show up right here. You can do newsletters and promotions, and you can upgrade one or two levels depending on how much service you need. You don't have to. I've, I have had clients not want to pay a monthly hosting fee, and so they just use the Weebly name, and they just go on with it. Now, I'm going to say you do not rank really well with a Weebly name, but if you're using it just to run Facebook ads or AdWords ads, then that's really all you need. Does that make sense? Good. All right, well that's how to get started in Weebly. Um, it's not rocket science. Take your time. Look around. I really only showed you two different things. I showed you the build, which has all of your elements in it, and I showed you the pages, which is how you add pages. Here's how to delete a page. You click on it, you click delete, and it's gone. Okay, 
If you want to completely change the theme, you decide, well, this is not working out for you. You click on theme, you click on change theme, and I tell you what, they have so many. Um, this is the one we're using, so let's try this one. You can choose theme, and you're not going to lose your text, but it's going to change the font sizes and styles. You can't even see this because it's white. So this text is white, so you can't even see it unless I highlight it. But that's all it changed. And that was in theme. And change theme. Okay. So it's pretty simple. You can always preview. And then, you know, this is, we're back where we started. The other thing about in theme is you can see in the themes, the fonts are already designated. They're set up. If you want something a little different without having to change it in here every time, if you want a different size or a different color, go into in theme, change fonts. Hover on each one of these design options. And look on the right, look over here. Site title is highlighted. You click on that. <clears throat> it's gonna let you choose from all of these fonts to whatever you want. It, you can change this style, normal or italicized. Some of them you can pick bold. Some of them you can't. You can change the size. You can change the color in here. And you can change if you want it to be fully uppercase or not, because right now it's not. If I turn it on, it is. And then you can increase the spacing between the letters. Don't go crazy, but you can do that. And publish saves. If you are messing and you don't want to save, just X out over here on the Weebly X and it shouldn't save it. Although sometimes it does because it's supposed to auto save. So in all of these menu items, paragraph titles, paragraph text, links, buttons, this is a button. All of these things you can change what the what the default is for all of those items. Okay? So that's the theme. Store is designing a store. So I'm not going to get into that now because that's a whole other bit of business. I'm just trying to get you through right now getting your site started. But if you want to set up a store, you just click on store and it walks you through it. And it's the same. Everything is drag and drop in here. Everything. But let's go to settings. In your settings are some things that are fairly important. Your website address, of course, is front and center. If at any time you want to change that, so right now it's on the Weebly.com platform. If you want to change it, you can change it to a different subdomain of Weebly. You can register a domain, or if you purchase a domain elsewhere, or you have a domain that's, that you're not using for something else, put it in here. Okay, so that you can go ahead and use whatever domain you want. The site title that we had to choose at the very, very beginning when we came in here is right here. You can change this. Now, when it says show title on top of your pages, you saw that on the page that I was building. I didn't type that in. We got there and it was already there. So you can show it or not show it. All depends on what you're doing. A lot of people use an image at the very top with a clickable phone number on it instead of the title of the site. You can change the category in here just like you change just like at the very beginning when we picked it. You do not want to have it secure site that's that https. You really don't want to do that. Um, the favicon as some of you know is the little picture next to your site's name um, in a browser tab. So you can change that picture. 
um, you can't do it on a free site but on every other site you can change the picture so you can be like um, Gmail and have an envelope or you can be like on my website if you noticed it is the image is my um, logo my company logo which is two cats throwing a bunch of cash up in the air which to me represents freedom and cash you can put a password on your site um, navigation is is kind of silly group XX pages under more well if you're making that many pages and you have not got your menu up to date we need to go back to to the beginning and work on your menu I, I would leave this the way it is but don't forget that don't forget that that's enabled you can set up your Facebook sharing especially important if you're doing blog posts and every once in a while if I was you I would go to this archive this is in settings in general in settings go to archive put in your email address put in anybody's email address click email archive that you've just backed up your site it's <laughs> super I wouldn't worry about it too much um, I have lost client sites in Weebly before and I've called Weebly support and they've been able to find it and get it back for me pretty neat um, here's some additional formatting this will make it site-wide um, the date you want to pick your time zone um, I'm in central time I just didn't change it uh, cookies on or off I recommend off unless you're doing something that is dependent on cookies like time sensitive sales so you can you can do that in your cookies I would wait till the end especially if you're setting up a store and last but not least you can unpublish your site if you're just you're so messed up and it's it looks just so horrible and you're just you're you're literally dying in your own brain click on publish and start all over okay we're still in settings let's go into SEO site description um, this appears in the search engine results and remember what what I showed you in a Google search carpet cleaning or carpet in here you have the name and the description each page's description is entered on each page but the full site description is entered right here meta keywords um, I've never used them I don't see that it makes a difference to my rankings but if you want to list out your keywords right here feel free please feel I don't have a problem with it it's not going to hurt anything your header and footer codes these are the places in Weebly where you can put very specific things um, I highly recommend Google Analytics even though Weebly has its own tracking system I highly recommend Google Analytics I highly recommend you register for Google Webmaster Tools and get them both up and running it gives you a code um, an HTML code to put in here and then on Webmaster it goes in the header and you just plop it right in there and then you're all set up for your in your tools where you can see everything hide from search engines I'm pretty sure you don't want that on 301 redirects if you already have a site and you want to move stuff without moving stuff if you want to move the people when they click on a certain site this is where you set this all up okay so and every time you do something in the bottom right is a green button that says save be sure to save okay um, the only other thing I can think of on this page is nothing I can't think of a thing okay um, this is all to do with um, apps members this is your blog the two main ones you want to worry concern yourself with at the beginning are general and SEO and we can get more into other stuff down the road here but here's the best button the help button they have online chat 
they have a telephone number, and the, they have a really good support center. And when all else fails, I'm a big fan of Googling. Um, how to move pictures in Weebly. And it's actually taking you to the Weebly posts, but I, w I was able to find it faster. And 99% of the time, it comes up just like this. It tells you exactly, in this little box right up here, it tells you exactly how to do what you were trying to figure out how to do. So that is your introduction to Weebly. I hope that this has helped. I hope that I can get out. There it goes. I hope that this has helped. If it has not helped, send me an email. Okay, it's Carrie at freedomandcash.net. Feel free to visit my website, which is also freedomandcash.net. And if you absolutely cannot do this by yourself, feel free to contact me. We will work something out. I do build websites for a living for local small businesses and I rank them so that they get leads in the long run and not the short run. Thanks for listening and have a great, great rest of your day.